Hello boys and girls, welcome back. So, yeah, this big old beast, quite a big box, from Zvez, Zvezda, uh, which is a Russian firm, even says made in Russia on there, of the steamship Sirius. <clears throat> um, quick look on scale mates, obviously, and it says it's, this was from 2003, and the artwork on here, it's signed 2002, so that sounds about right. But it's on the same page, although there's no kind of direct link to a very, very similar looking ship that goes, it was originally from Hella, which went right back to 1971. So whether this is a copy of it or they bought the moulds of it or something, I don't, it had a different name, but looking at the ship, it looked identical. So, don't know. We'll see if there's any hints of Hella printed on anything anyway. Um, so a little bit of a history of the ship, the Sirius. Uh, from 1893, it held the record for crossing the Atlantic under steam power. Bloody, bloody, blah. Uh, there's a price tag, which you probably can't see. Uh, there it is. Um, 47.90 euros. Whenever that was, wherever that was, don't know. Uh, there's a couple of other ships you can buy from Zesda. Yeah. Not getting into the politics of Russian things. Um, safe to say, I probably wouldn't buy brand new, but this came from a second-hand shop, so that's fine in my book. Uh, distributed by a company in Italy, manufactured in Russia, not three sad onions, you can recycle something. And then on the bottom of the box, there's some photos of the finished kit so it's rather nice always nice to see photos of the actual thing rather than sort of mock-ups in it looks a decent thing uh, one to 100 scale so that explains why it's a bit on the big side so let's have our butchers let's be awkward to get under the camera but okay um, so yeah, vac formed, which is the same as the Hella one was. Sales are vac formed, so yeah, could be. Yeah, I've never tried playing with vac form. So. Oh, yeah, I had an accident with a a ride on mower earlier. Absolutely knackered my thigh. Really, really painful. Thirteen years as an ambulance man. That's the best bit of bandaging I could do. So I'm, I'm not gonna, I can't hold anything with it, so I'm not going to be building anything for a few days. Poor, poor me. Um, right, yeah, anyway, that's the back form. And the destructions. So there's the instructions. Like, oh, crikey. What are that rigging to do? Mm. written in Russian first of all and here's yeah, the history again that's it for that one okay that's a painting guide okay doesn't look too bad I suppose I can work it out it's model master paints so you should be able to cross reference that all right uh, oh, okay, so they do it that way around. So that colour goes on those parts. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Mm, okay, that's just rushing. So we've got the diagrams to follow. That's part three, hang on. Let's try and do it in order. 
Okay, start with it. Page one. Okay, so mounting the hole. Okay, so English, glue this to this. Okay, it's straightforward enough. Mounting the decks, mounting the stern gallery. So that's all in English. Up to there, and it's rushing up the top. Uh, okay. So I think how it works is you follow the, the written instructions, but the diagrams on, are on two pages. I think that's the idea of it. But that looks reasonably straightforward to follow. Pretty obvious which bits go where. Section five, and then on to section six. More of the same. So Russian writing, English writing, and then the then begin. I'm I'm in the middle of doing a fairy. I keep saying sweary swordfish, fairy swordfish. Um, and I'm going to have to have a play with rigging on that, which is. Slightly different to this, obviously, but my first stab at proper rigging. Of course, I used to do aerial aerials on Spitfires and things with the heated up sprue. But I'm going to try and be a little bit more grown up now. Right, so let's have a look at what's in here. So we've got a little bag with what looks like hair in it, but it's, that's obviously the rigging stuff. Two colours. Then, as I always do, try and put two halves together, see if it looks warped or not. No, not particularly, that's not too shabby. Bit of filler needed, but not beyond, beyond help. Um, just having a look, see if I can see Hella written inside it anyway. No, that's quite nice. You can see the detail on that. I'll try and catch it in the light if I can. Here we go. So the wood effect on there is pretty good. Once it's painted, that should stand out quite nice. Nice solid feel to the plastic. Let's have a look at the spots on it, yeah. So there's a bit of flash on it, here and there. Quite a bit in places. Detail-wise, it's pretty good. There's, whatever they are, it's got a wood grain pattern on it. And um, on the little boats there, you can see the sort of planks detail on it. It's pretty good. Yeah, same again on there. Nice bit of detail on that. Again, quite a bit of flash. Oh, that's really nice. You can see that. That, pla that pattern on there. Really good, because it's not all uniform, it's all higgledy-piggledy, the lines for all the planks, much more realistic. It's good stuff, that. All the same, not too much flash on this lot. That's pretty good. So 
the actual paddle wheel. It's got a little bit of wood effect on it. Probably won't be able to see that. I don't know. Just subtle little bit of detail on it. Nice. That's the same frame again. I think. Looks like. Yeah, same again. Go oh, how's that for a clear part? That's a lot of windows, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, a little tiny bit opaque, but not bad. For that size, you won't notice it. like a scale down the side of it. Hmm. Maybe that's something to do with doing the rigging. I have to have a look at the instructions again. And there's the deck. That's really good. Really nice that. Very impressed. Just the right amount of detail, not over the top, but noticeable. Very good. Hmm. It's actually looking like a pretty good kit, this. I did wonder, because um, was it Novo that was Russian? Bought up all the frog stuff. And they were a little bit on the ropey side, weren't they? Uh, you can't say a whole country's output is the same, but if you haven't seen a Russian kit, and the only ones you've seen are Novu, this is um, quite a bit better. So that, that's going to need clearing up, so the, the flash has kind of closed up the slots there a little bit. So I just need opening up a bit. Again, some more wood effect. Not bad. Wow, okay, I don't know if that's showing up quite well. So it's a sheet of plastic, but it's got a kind of sea effect on it. If you painted that, or, oh, I see, you put that behind it, dear. Okay. So you can build a base for it. That's clever, isn't it? Well, there's a smaller one. Same again, but smaller. That's quite neat, that. Nice little touch. I assume that's what it's for. There's a little, I don't know if that's part of it. Strange little, little thing. <laughs> I don't think that's part of it. That was strange. Oh, that's off of that. Okay. So someone's donated a set of wheels off a dinky toy or something. It's funny what you're finding the cute second hand stuff, isn't it? Or smaller bits. And a stand. Can't see any heather markings anywhere, but I don't know. I'm assuming it, it, it was something to do with the heather because it's same scale, looks identical, it was plastic and vac form, so scale mates put it on the same page, it's probably the same thing, isn't it? Just they haven't put the actual, you know, like it's like a sort of family tree, how they lay it out. It doesn't actually connect it. But, uh, yeah, I don't need too bad at all. Have a look what that was for. So let's put it all back in the box and then have a look at the instructions again. Ah, right, okay. So that weird thing with the notches on it. It's this thing here. This is every second notch. So it must be, if I read the blurb, uh, 
Okay, so you have to tie the thread over the, the guide, tie it, stretching, thread and tie it. Mm. Oh, cracky. So you tie them up and then when they then glue them and then cut them. Mm. Oh dear, that sounds complicated. Oh dear. But at least it's a reasonably good picture of where it all goes. So should be able to work it out. Hmm. Strange one. Yeah. That might be one to find somebody else on YouTube who's built one and have a look, see how they did it. But oh, that looks all right. For a second hand kit out of a, out of a, um, out of a second hand shop, appropriately. Um, very nice indeed. I don't know what they go for new. I didn't see a price, but um, that's quite a big kit. It's quite a lot to it. And it you know, it's a lot of plastic. Oh, good stuff. And again, it's something different. I've never built a steamship before. I've never done rigging before. So, Something to get my, my broken fingers into. Marvellous. Okie dokie. Right, well that's that. Hmm. If you know anything about Zvezda, Zvez, Zvezda, or you built one of these, give us a comment. Let us know what it's like to make. Right, okay, enough <laughs> pondering from me. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. Thank you.